guys, Cal and Eastern, they say they're bitter rivals, but in the last 17 years, there's been nothing about these two teams that screams rivalry. Cal has not defeated Eastern this century. 25 games, the Eagles have walked off the course victorious in a row. Could they make it 26 tonight at Cal? The Rocky music blaring. The Centurions are ready for a fight. They're up nine in the first quarter. Off the long rebound, Eastern's Sugar Wyke running the floor and finishes with the right hand. Sweet. On the other end, this kid, he had a monster game. Parker Jones dominated the, on both ends. Layup gives Cal a seven-point lead in the second, but it was all tied at 29 at the break. Second half, Jones continues to assert himself down low. Sugar will drive the paint for the backside. Help arrives just in time for the rejection. Jordan rules. No easy buckets. The Eagles go on to break the press. Cal, or rather, they are pressing. Cal breaks it. Austin Carr for three. Lead is 15, and you sense the streak was coming to an end. Now under a minute. How about Milton Wright? Cal beating the press once more. Wright skies in for two. The Centurions stop the slide at 25. Cal wins 65-53. Man, that, that's big for us. You know, the boys, more than anything, the, the, the boys have really worked hard. They uh, wanted to get a, a big district win. You know, Ballard and Eastern are the two big dogs in our district, and it's been that way for, like you said, centuries. Uh, so to get this win is huge for us. We came into the game, we knew we had never beat them. So we uh, started off and we just uh, went at them as hard as we could. We let up for a little bit, but our whole team, for the most part, played better than we usually do. Half court shots falling for Eastern and Cal girls. The same can also be said for Natalie Collins' three pointers. Hers increases the Eagles second half lead. They led by as many as 15 in the final six minutes, 16 minutes, but Cal works it all the way back to just two points under a minute. The steal by Shelby Calhoun. She races in for an easy two. Now 52-50, Cal looks to pressure, but Collins wants no parts. Splits the defense, scores, add the foul. Free throw good, Eastern goes on to win by six. Back to you guys. I see your half court shots and I raise you half court shots in uh -oh. guys. Oh! Yes. This is at St. X. A lot more of those shots went in during the actual game uh, against Mail. Tigers lead 38 to 8 at one point in this one. This is the third quarter. Samuel Borman uh, hits one falling down. They kind of made it look that easy tonight. Hogan Brownlee trying to get Mail back into it. Connects on a three there. He had 18 points, 11 rebounds to lead the dogs. But uh, this guy was just doing it all for St. X tonight. Pierce Kiesler, the layup there. 24 points for him. And X wins 78 to 54. Kentucky girls basketball at Manuel, the Lady Crimsons hosting Central. We pick up the action of the fourth quarter. Manuel dominating up by 40 points and counting Tian Howard for another Lady Crimson score. More Lady Crimsons, Deja Chapman to Janae Riley for a nice little jump shot. Manuel, the head coach Jeff Sparks, won at 80-37 for a 15-6 record this season. I'm proud of our kids tonight. We played hard. Uh, got a lot in the fast break early. Uh, that really gave us a boost and got us going. Uh, you know, we, we've been up and down all year long. Uh, you know, I'm proud of what we did tonight in terms of doing some things better that we've been working on in practice. There's lots of things still to improve upon. So, uh, you know, we're, we're hopefully playing for a chance to compete um, in the region here. We just got to keep working towards that goal, and we know we got to get better. Yeah, big night at Manual. You had the girls game against Central, Aww. the boys night against Central, and then homecoming. Very nice. Yes, Very everybody, nice. everybody loves a crown. Manual's uh, William Britt doing something everybody else likes. He finds Kenyon Jacob for three there. Manual takes a 7-6 lead. Uh, Britt was just getting things done in this one. He steals the ball here, and he's just going to go the whole Ooh, way wow. himself. Nice. Cruises in for a layup, and the uh, Crimson's lead by four points at that point. Central hanging in there, though. This is Darren Douglas hitting from the perimeter to pull the Jackets within 10, but Manual takes it. 77-72.